Hello kids, how are you? I hope you all are fine. I'm Pail Monga, your ABS teacher. And as you all know that we are doing the chapter type of clothes, right? So in a previous video, we have learned that which type of clothes we wear in the different seasons, right? Like in summers, winters, rains, in all the seasons, we wear different type of clothes, right? So today, we are going to learn that how these clothes are made. Okay? So are you ready? So kids, now let's continue the chapter. And we are doing the page number 39. Okay? And today, first of all, we are going to talk about the uniform. Okay? We wear a school uniform when we go to school. So tell me, when you go to school, then what kind of clothes you wear in the school? You wear school uniform, right? So do you know that why you wear school uniform? So there is a reason behind this. You wear the school uniform because it nourishes the sense of equality. So that all the students can feel that they are same. Okay? That's why students wear the uniform in the school. And some other people also wear uniforms. And that is uh, related to their work and profession. Like postman, pilot, policeman, doctor, lawyer, nurse. So these people also wear uniform. And we can easily identify them by their uniform. Okay, when we see that person in that uniform, then we can easily identify that this person is related to that work and profession. Right? As you can see, this is the uniform of a nurse. And this is the uniform of a lawyer. This is policeman. And this is doctor. So, these people wear this uniform. Okay? So now we are going to do the page number 40 and in here we are going to learn that how how are clothes made. Clothes bante kaise hain. Okay. So the clothes are made out of cloth fabric. Okay. And first of all you need to know that there are two type of fabrics. First. So the first is natural fabric. It is made of the things that grows on plants and animals okay and the natural fabrics are cotton wool and silk okay so the first of all we are going to learn about the cotton okay different clothes are made from different materials we get cotton fibers from the balls of a cotton plant so from where we get the cotton fibers we get it from the cotton plant here you can see this picture this is a picture of a cotton plant and these are the cotton balls okay after this these cotton fibers are spun into cotton thread or yarn so we get the cotton fibers from these balls and then we uh, spun them into cotton thread okay we spun the cotton fibers into cotton thread okay after this this thread is woven into a cloth okay then we weave this thread into cloth cloth being woven on a loom so this is a machine and this is called loom so the weaving is done by hands in this machine but in the old times okay nowadays weaving is done by machines in the factories in old times weaving was done by this machine this is called a loom by hands okay but now this work is done by the machines after this we stitch clothes from cloth or and we make cloth out of, out of that fabric we, we can make shirts, we can make kurtas, we can make frogs, we can make anything, right? So the second natural fabric is wool. So here you are going to learn that how the wool is made, okay? 
वी गेट वूल फ्रॉम द थिक हेयर ऑफ फ्लीज ऑफ शीप सो वेयर द वूल ग्रो वूल ग्रो ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ द शीप ओके शीप ग्रोज अ लॉट ऑफ हेयर ऑन दर बॉडीज टू प्रोटेक्ट दिस सेल्फ फ्रॉम द कोल्ड विंटर्स बट इन द समर्स दे डोंट नीड दैट वूल ओके द फार्मर्स शेयर दैट वूल फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड वी गेट द वूल ओके Wool is also obtained from some other animals like rabbit, goat, and yak. So we get wool from some other animals too, and these are rabbit, goat, and yak. The hair of sheep that is removed. So once we remove the uh, hair from the sheep, is cleaned. So after that, we clean them, wash them, because that wool is not clean, that is dirty. So we have to clean and wash them. Okay, then spun into woolen. thread so after that we have spun that wool into woolen thread okay the woolen thread is, is then knitted to make woolen clothes so when the woolen thread is ready then it is knitted to make woolen clothes so knitting was done by hands but nowadays knitting is done by the machines in the factories okay so which clothes we can make from the wool we can make sweaters caps gloves okay these thread may be woven to make woolen fabric for suits or shawls so we can make suits and shawls also from the wool okay and the next is silk silk is the third natural fabric okay so the question is from where we get the silk we get silk from the silk worm so we get this from this animal and that is silk worm here you can see that is a picture of a silk worm silk worm feed on the mulberry leaves so this is a mulberry leaf and silk worm feed on the mulberry leaves okay the silk worm weave a cocoon around itself so how can we get the silk from this tiny creature now i will tell you that how we get silk from the silk worm so silk worm weave a cocoon around its body something like this okay to protect himself so silk a uh, worm uh, weave a cocoon like this and in this cocoon his body grows and the silk worm become a butterfly okay so when it become a butterfly then he came out of this cocoon and fly away and he leave this cocoon for us so we can make the silk thread out of it okay and uh, so we get the silk thread from this cocoon okay and this silk thread is very strong okay and after that the silk thread woven to make silk fabric so let me tell you that silk fabric is very pretty and it is very expensive okay then when the silk fabric is ready then we can stitch to make silk clothes so after the silk fabric is ready then we stitch uh, stitch to make silk clothes okay so this is how we get the silk from the silk worms so cotton wool and silk are called natural fibers okay in this fibers there is no chemical used that is why these are natural fibers okay and the fibers like polyester rayon and nylon which are made in factories using chemicals are called artificial or synthetic fibers so this is the second type of fibers that is synthetic and why they are synthetic because there are chemical used in this fibers okay so fibers like polyester rayon and nylon are synthetic fibers and they are made in the factories using chemicals okay 
so these are the two type of fibers first is natural and that are cotton wool and silk and second is synthetic or artificial and these are polyester rayon and nylon okay and these are also called man made fibers so this is why we call them man made fibers because these are not natural and these are made by man okay we should always wear clean well ironed and properly stitched clothes so this is the thing that you should always remember that you should wear clean and properly washed and properly ironed clothes you should never wear dirty clothes because they are full of germs and they are not good for your health okay so our chapter is done here hello so i hope uh, now you have understand that how clothes are made right now tell me that do you want to see that how clothes are made in the factories do you want to see that now i am going to show you video in which you will see that how cotton balls converts into a cotton shirt how clothes are actually made in the factories okay are you ready so let's start the video